you know, nearly 20 years coming up here and I've never even taken a right and gone into Chiquita. That's the Pikes Peak rock shop right there. We're gonna go get our rocks later there. Not, never mind. Headed to tech inspection, just day one of seven days of grueling violence on the body and mind. Today we go, uh, well, I see the car for the first time. That's gonna be cool. First time I will have sat in the car will be at tech inspection as it rolls over the scales. So, what could go wrong, you know? We wrapped the car last night in our rental house. Okay. That's the sound of rap coming off. That's not a good start. <laughs> We're supposed to be putting rap on and he's still taking shit off. We have crew still arriving and my first time ever driving a Sierra Alpha will be in the W's tomorrow morning, assuming that they're not covered in snow because last I looked there was three feet of snow on the summit. So crews are up there scraping snow right now. We're gonna get the car prepped. We will, uh, I don't know, we'll probably record all kinds of useless videos like this, stream them together into something manageable. And then uh, well, if you're seeing this, that means we succeeded. So at least we got one W under our belt this week. Hill time time, let's party. We're here in the Target parking lot because uh, I decided that since I have so much good crew this week at Pikes Peak, I need to take up a new hobby. So I'm getting into crafting. Or maybe it's because we forgot to cut numbers in our own wrap shop back home for my race car and it has to go through tech inspection right now. So what a world we live in, dude, that like you can just walk into Target now buy a vinyl cutter. My only complaint to Cricket customer service on this machine so far is the uh, fact that I can't get the material out of the tube. Ha ha ha! Props to their customer service department for the quick response. I think what's nuttiest about this whole affair is that that right there, old Gran Turismo, those fools don't know that's my whole entire career. That's the whole reason we're here is because I played that game when I was 15 at a friend's house between band practices. I was like, this is the coolest shit ever. I, I have to do this. What is Pikes Peak to you? Well, Pikes Peak is very unique, once a year event. And I started off like four years ago and every year doesn't feel perfect because there's no way I can drive this mountain perfect, right? So every year I feel like I'm getting better and better, so. Pikes Peak to me is when I was little, watching TV with my dad and I was like, what are they doing? And he's like, they're racing cars up this hill and it goes from low elevation to pretty high elevation and makes it, uh, really difficult and so in 2019 I got the opportunity to come here and then after that it was like any chance I've gotten since it's like I'm coming here. It's just a blast it's a fun experience and everything with the people yeah we are definitely competing against one another but the biggest thing is we're competing against the mountain and that's the common you know the common competitor that we have and I think that that, that would brings everybody together. We're just here because uh, it's a dream it's it's a goal and and we want to get to the top. And being here in 2021, meeting all the people here, and it's been a great experience. And everybody's been really supportive of what we're doing. There's an interesting draw with Pikes Peak. And I, I, obviously anybody who's been here and competed here knows exactly what I'm talking about. But it's, it's sure, there's records. And, and sure, it's, you know, everybody loves to win. And it's not like we throw a giant pile of money into a bucket, light it on fire, and don't want anything in return. But I think what you have to want in return more than anything is, is in here and is in here. Uh, more so than it's a trophy or it's beating other people. Robin Shu would disagree. He's just a he's just a violent monster who wants to destroy everybody and everything. If you're watching this, Robin, you need help. <laughs> 